Whoa. Welcome to the channel. Today we're testing out the $25 fire starter kit from eBay. Let's open it up and see what we got. We got some jute, got some magnesium, solar blanket, waterproof match, a cable saw. I guess this is more like a survival kit. Got a fire rod, little multi-use tool, matches. Uh-oh, got a little mini knife. I guess that's it. All right, I like the little pouch it comes in. Let's try this magnesium. Got a bunch of magnesium here. This kit right here, guys, Steve Kaiser, outdoor enthusiast. All right, this fire rod works good. Let me get everything away from this real quick. Let's put a little more on there and see what happens. There we go. Oh, it's bright. It took me quite a bit of strides to get it to light. Let's see if the magnesium lights if it's wet. I'll put a little water on it. Uh-oh. That's not good, guys. That would be easy to lose if that fell out. Let's see if it'll light with a match. Striker's on the back of the pack here. Hey, that works. Don't work good wet, guys. See the difference with it dry. I'm just gonna use the rest of this. You wanna keep your magnesium dry. Whoa. That's another way to start a fire, guys. <laughs> Put your rag over it. Stuff caught fire then. Striker works good, it's just, it comes out real easy, so. Maybe we'll put some super glue in there. Got a little can opener on here too. This little piece right here, it's got a couple can openers, got a little serrated part, got some paracord on it. It's got a couple little sharp spots, but they're not that sharp. It's got a little measuring tape on it. I don't know if you'd want to cut a tree down with that part. <laughs> got a solar blanket, guys. Hey, I can already tell that's warming me up. You could actually take this and make you a little temporary shelter if you had to. Keep the rain off of you. Let's test the mini knife out. Got a little bit of an edge on it. This would be good in a pinch, but I honestly think I would cut myself with it if I used it a lot. The handle's really small. Hey, you could take your paracord and put that on a stick. You'd have a little spear then. Let's test that out. Get my paracord off. See how much paracord we got here. So we got about three foot. This is not paracord. Paracord has little strings in it that you can take out. That's what I was trying to do, but this is just cord, but hey, it's better than nothing. I need a smaller stick, but hey, you could do some damage with that. We got a little hand saw. Let's test it out. Hey, it works. That actually worked pretty well. <laughs> Took me less than a minute probably to cut through that. This is a waterproof match. I wonder if these are waterproof. It didn't say these were waterproof. I just want to test it out. Let that sit in the water for a second. Hey, let that sit in there for a minute. This is supposed to be a waterproof match. The striker screws in there and it seals up. It's got this fuzz on it. I wonder if you're supposed to have some kind of accelerant in here. All right, that match has been soaking for about five minutes. No, you want to keep these matches dry. When I dipped it in the water, it worked then, but after it soaked for a while, it didn't work. Okay, I looked it up. You're supposed to put lighter fluid in this. I don't have no lighter fluid, so. It'd probably work better if I put lighter fluid in it. This ferro rod works good. It comes with some jute too. You wanna separate this. Put you some jute and some magnesium down. It says you're not supposed to use this indoors, but whatever. Oh yeah. Hey, that works good. Don't look directly into the magnesium. That's the perfect way to start a fire, guys. Unless you got some steel wool and a battery. I like it, Steve. Pack it back up. Hey, next time I go camping, I'm gonna take this with me. Hey, it's light too, you can just throw that in your bag. Hey, you can clip it on your belt. <laughs> hey, it came with a sticker. Oh, Steve's going on the wall, guys. There we go. Well, thanks for watching. Overall, I think it's a really good buy, so.